If we remember the uh, the words in Genesis uh, that are repeated then in the New Testament by Jesus and then by Paul, a man shall leave father and mother shall cleave and they shall become one flesh. This is strong covenant language. It's not a simple agreement. When you say, okay, tomorrow we meet and we go for a walk together, you make an agreement that you go for a walk. This is a simple, light agreement. But when you make strong promises of being with your wife forever and other promises that you make on the day of the wedding, this is a very strong language, a covenant. And I think it's not by chance that the way God chose to relate to his people in the Old Testament and also in the New Testament is comparing it with the husband-wife relationship. It is a covenant. There is a strong bone, a strong link. It is in this sense that the marriage relationship is a covenant. There is a strong bone that links, links them together.